What's up guys? Welcome to our final video of this Cinco de Mayo series. By now, if you've been keeping up, we've shown you how to make taquitos and flautas, salsa, and what was the other thing? Great question. Mexican rice. Mexican <laughs> rice, exactly. So we wanted to help you guys by completing that meal today. We are going to show you how to make a drink and a dessert. So that way you can have one of everything for Cinco de Mayo. You got a full dinner, drink, dessert, all that fun stuff. So today we're gonna show you how to make Jamaica and flan. So Jamaica is actually the drink for today. And if no one of you has ever heard of it before, it's made of these pretty little flowers here, right? Yep, in English it's known as hibiscus. So you might have got, gotten some like hibiscus teas at Starbucks. I know I've gotten one there before, it's pretty good. Um, so it's really simple, really simple drink. And then for the flan, I think flan actually originated in Spain, I'm not sure, but we Mexicans love it. So, <laughs> um, two of the ingredients that you'll need that you probably won't already have at home are evaporated milk and sweetened condensed milk. And then in addition to that, you're just gonna need about three tablespoons of sugar, six eggs, and some vanilla. Yep. So we'll go ahead and start making that. Let's go. So making Jamaica is actually really easy. If any of you guys have ever made loose leaf tea, it's the same basic principle. So I have two cups of water boiling right here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add our Jamaica petals in, and we're gonna let it stay in there with the water boiling with the heat with the flame on for about a minute and then I'm gonna turn it off and we're just gonna leave it covered for five more minutes. So I'll just toss those in. And then we'll just let it boil for a little bit and then I'll put the lid on. And look, the lid. Now that our Jamaica is done, we are just going to pour it through a strainer. I went ahead and put some ice water just because the Jamaica is still pretty warm and I just want it to cool down faster. But if you want, you can just strain it and then let it cool down. I just am not patient. I want to drink some right now. So yeah, we'll just do that. It's pretty easy, especially when you have an ice strainer like this one. And then what I'm going to do is I like to just do the same thing again. So I'm going to boil some more water and then put the flowers just so that we can make sure we get as much flavor out of these petals as possible. I poured in the Jamaica that I heated up the second time through, so it was just the same petals. And now I'm going to add one and a half cups of sugar. This ended up way too sweet, guys. Just add a cup of sugar instead and then taste it and maybe add more if you feel you need more. But it sounds like a lot, but remember, this is like tea, guys. So if you do want it to just be a little less sweet, you can add less sugar, but I like my Jamaica pretty sweet. So we're just gonna add that sugar. And stir it up and then it'll be ready to drink. The first step to making our flan is we're gonna make the kind of caramel sauce that's gonna go first in the pan. So I just took about three tablespoons of sugar. Actually, I think this is like four, I put a little more. And we're just gonna heat it and stir it. You just have to be very careful because this gets really hot. But you'll just keep stirring it until you get this nice sauce. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour that into our pan. Okay, and again, this is really hot. So please be careful, guys. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna put this down. And then we're just gonna move this around, try to do it quickly, cause it's already getting cold. But it's okay if it's not perfect. Um, once we bake it, this sauce will spread out a little bit more. Okay, this is done now. Uh, it's not perfect, obviously, but it'll even out once we add the rest of our mixture. So let's go ahead and make what goes on top of this. For our next step, for our flan, we're gonna make the filling part. So we're going to toss in our can of evaporated milk. Doo -doo -doo. Oh wow, that's a lot. Okay, 
Then one can of sweetened condensed milk. If you want to stick your finger in the can of sweetened condensed milk and taste it, I won't judge you. This is my favorite. It goes really well in strawberries too. And then next we are going to add six eggs. Next, we're just gonna add a little dash of vanilla, just a tiny one. And now we're gonna just blend this up and pour it right on top of our caramel that's already in our pan. Okay, now we're gonna pour our sweet condensed milk mixture on top of the sugar. Okay, oh, that's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. But that's fine, we're gonna have more flan. And then we're just going to put it into another baking dish with water. We want it to be at least about half of the dish that the flan is in. That's just, I don't actually know why, but that's what we do, that's how my mom does it. I asked my in-laws why we put the flan in the little water bath because they were professional cake makers at one point in their lives. And they told me that it's to make sure that it cooks evenly. So there you go, now you guys know. And now I know because I didn't know before. So we'll just put this in and then we're gonna put it in the oven. We're gonna bake it for an hour. I almost forgot we need to cover our flan with foil before we put it in the oven. So I'm just doing that really quickly. Okay, now we're ready to go. flan is out of the oven now and what you're gonna want to do is take a knife and just go ahead and go around the edge of the flan that way when we flip it to get it out of the pan it'll just come out smoothly I also recommend cooling it for a while I let it cool for about 25 minutes that way it'll just be a little less likely that it'll fall apart so you're well, exactly how long did it take to bake um, it took about an hour and 15 minutes. So I took my knife and just poked it and it came out still a little sticky. There was, it wasn't firm enough yet at the hour mark. So I let it cook for another 15 minutes, 25 minutes. What did I say? I don't know. Um, about 15, 15 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so test it at about the hour point, And then if it's still a little messy when you stick your butter knife in there, then maybe leave it for an extra 15. Yeah. But then after those extra 15 minutes, it came out clean. So... I took it out of the oven, let it cool, and then did all that stuff. So now we're going to flip it. It's the scariest part. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Hang on, cue the drum roll. Uh -huh. I'm going to stand up. This is scary. <laughs> I've made flan before, but for some reason flipping this one was extra scary. So I had Garrett help me flip it. Partially because I didn't want the plate to slip off, but also because I didn't want to be completely responsible for the flan being ruined just in case this flip didn't turn out well. Yay! I got a little on my hand. That's okay. You can lick it. It's delicious. <laughs> yep. Woohoo! And, and there's the flan. There's our flan. So, uh, I don't know, did you already mention it, how the, the sugar down on the bottom, the caramel, was going to spread out as it baked? Yeah. That's exactly what happened So it here. did. Even though yeah. it looked a little weird at the beginning. Um, but yeah, it spread all around. So we got that nice caramel sauce on the whole flan. So now we're going to eat. Thanks for watching, guys. And then we have our Jamaica here as well that we finished. So now you guys should be able to make an entire Mexican meal with a drink and dessert all on your own. Mm -hmm. So enjoy the sweet and the salty. Make sure to leave us down in the comments something telling us how much you enjoyed it and what was your favorite part of the whole meal. Let us know what you want us to cook in the future too. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and have a great Cinco de Mayo. See ya! Lick your hand! <laughs>